Welcome back, everybody, to another Icarus Mods video. Now, it's been a while since I've done one. I've been really busy with things. Um, there's been so many changes with the Icarus Mod ma Manager over the last several months that I just felt the need that I had to get a video out on all the new features. Uh, there's so many, in fact, that this will be a two-part video. There will be the basic installation and usage for most people and then the part two is going to be for people that create mods there's a lot of back-end changes I made to it to help them create mods right inside the mod manager so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get it downloaded so you'll want to go to my github which will be linked in the description below uh, Jim K 72 Icarus software and you're going to want to find the latest version, like this will be Icarus Mod Manager 221, and this one's 220. We're going to go ahead and download 221. You click on that, and then go up here, click on that, and click download. It's going to go up here. I have already downloaded it, so I am going to open up that. And basically inside the zip file, you'll see there is a skins folder, the program itself, the language any file. Basically goes through all the updates over the last several versions. First thing you're going to want to do is create a folder for it. I already have Icarus Mod Manager, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And I'm going to call it... Icarus Mod Manager 2. Go ahead and open that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and extract this into that folder I just created. Okay. And you'll see it extracted it all in there. Now that we have it downloaded, we're going to go ahead and run it for the first time. It is going to ask you that you have to be the admin. Let's go ahead and click yes. And then it's going to ask you, please update settings. Click OK. And you will get this screen that pops up here. Go ahead and close that. Now, the first thing you need to do is select the Icarus Contents folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that on my games drive program files 86 theme theme apps common icarus icarus content you'll see content down at the bottom go ahead and click select folder and you'll see that it has the content folder just like above um, the next thing you need to do is download unreal pack you can just if you don't already have it on your computer, you can just click download this. This will download the correct version for you. So you can just click download Unreal Pack. And it will let you know that it was downloaded and added to the Icarus Mod Manager. And you can see it's already there. Uh, as far as the options here, some people like that to give you a choice. So if there's a conflict in the mod you're merging, it will pop up allow you to check to select what type of values you you want to keep um i usually don't use that i just base it off of the order in which they merge the bottom has the highest priority and then uh extract changes when updating if you create mods and you want to see what all was changed in the game each week you would turn that on we're going to go ahead and leave that off and we're going to go ahead and disable log when merging. And click save changes. It's going to tell you to turn off the program in order for them to take effect. You'll close that and it will go ahead and shut down the mod manager. Uh, there might be an error that pops up. Because it tries to read the JSON file for the mods list. You can just go ahead and click OK and it'll go away. And then it is going to pop this up. 
saying that the data folder has been updated. Click OK. And then you'll have your mod manager. Uh, the first few times you run the mod manager, this will pop up. This is just like for reference, uh, all the changes that were made and allows you to donate. If you use it, enjoy it, and you want to keep the project going, I'd appreciate if you would donate. Uh, and this opens up my YouTube videos on some of the mods I've made. And if you have any issues with this, it'll link it back to this video or a video similar to this. You can just go ahead and close that. And then you have it open and running. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and check for IMM Icarus Mod Manager update. Click that. And it says there is an update. Would you like to update now? Click yes. And we'll go ahead and reset. And it will probably go ahead and create this week's updates. That's what it's doing now. It is going to create in this week's changes. And then it will go ahead and update the data folder. And now you're at the latest version. That screen will pop up again. You can go ahead and close that. And now you have the latest version and you're all set. Uh, from there, we're going to double check the settings to make sure they're the way we want them. Uh, if you don't want to extract changes when updating, you can go ahead and uncheck that. And then if you don't want to allow merging choice you just want to merge them by priority you can uncheck that i'll go ahead and leave that checked for now close that um i'm going to go over some of the buttons here on the right hand side uh, extract mod from folder if you have a mod that you're working on yourself and it's basically just in a folder it's not packed it's not zipped or anything you can actually add that mod and those raw files right to the mod manager by using extract mod from folder uh, if it's a pack file and you want to add it you can click extract mod from pack file and then you'll select the pack file and it will add, automatically add it to a mod manager uh, if there's an x mods file which is basically an extracted mod that Icarus Mod Manager uses that's in zip format. You can go ahead and click that and we'll go ahead and add that to your extracted mods list. And then update data folder just gets the latest data folder JSON files from the game. So if you click that, you'll see that it up it basically unpacks the JSON files for Icarus Mod Manager to use to merge the mods back in. Uh, check for update. If you're having issues, I may tell you to go ahead and click Create Debug Log File. It'll create a log file in the Icarus Mod Manager's folder. And you can post that to see what all's going on. Uh, remove all mods from the game. This will remove any mods that you currently have added to the game. As you can see, I have a IMM merged mod currently added to my game. Uh, I can click open Icarus mod folder, which will take you right to that Icarus mods folder for your game. Uh, you see when I create a merged mod, it actually creates a text file here too. If you click on that, you'll see all the mods that were merged in with this. So if if there's ever a question on what mods you currently have installed, you can just open your game's mods folder and you'll see that text file and that will tell you exactly what mods are currently installed. And then there's reload last merged list. Which is not going to work because we haven't merged any mods yet. So in order to get mods, you will need to click the download mods button and it will pop this screen up here. And the first thing we need to do is update the database. So we're going to go ahead and click update database. And you'll see the update has been done. And this is now all the mods that are available in the online database.
There's currently 270 different mods available. Uh, if you notice when I scroll through these, there's no images. And the descriptions are very short. That's because it doesn't have all the image data and the readme files. To refresh those files, you'll click the next button open over. It will say refresh local files. If you click that, you will see it will go through all these mods online and download the image if one's available and the text file if one's available. That way when you scroll through these, you get a more detailed list. I'm going to go ahead and let that run until it updates. And once it's done, you will get a pop-up that says all the mods files were downloaded. And when you're using Icarus Mod Manager, I would recommend doing this like the first time. And then if there's a bunch of new mods that come out over the next several months, you could probably do it again if you wanted to see more descriptive information about the newer mods. But click an update database basically just updates the files. So that's why this is very quick. And now you'll see the images are all available and the full readme files when you scroll through all these. So how the way Icarus Mod Manager works is these mods are available online on the people's GitHubs. So by double clicking them, you will download this mod and it will extract it into the mod manager. Uh, you can display all mods. You can select, these are all the authors, the people that have been building mods for Icarus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select myself. Uh, these are X mods or pack files. If, if you're downloading pack files, you need to make sure that it's the current week. So this one, no cave creatures. The current week is 142, and as of recording this, the week is 142, so this one would be fine to download. Uh, if you, you scroll down through here and you see some of these from week 104, if it's an XMOD file, it might still be fine. If it's a PAC file, then it will not be fine and will cause all kinds of issues for your games. So you can filter by X mods. You click filter. You go ahead and clear mine. So these are all X mods, and you see a lot of these say all on here. That's because they're compatible with all the weeks. And then if you click pack file, click filter, you'll see most of these are week 142. Because these have to be up to date every week. Otherwise it will cause issues with your games. Uh, I currently have any mod that's over two weeks old. It will not show here. That's the reason why you don't see any really old mods that are pack files. If you look at X mods, you'll see that some of them are older because... For the most part, they might still be fine. Uh, there might be some issues though, but it's not as risky installing an X mod one that's outdated versus a pack one. So I'm going to go ahead and install some of these so you can see how this works. So I filter with mine. Uh, I'll do the leveling. Just double click on them and it installs them. The scoped rifle. Added deployables. Increase stacks. And like I said, I'm just 
double clicking them and they will install garden deployables uh, depending on the mod some some install really quick if they involve a lot of files like a lot of mine have all new models and textures and everything else to make the systems work so you'll see that they actually take a little bit longer to install uh, increase slots shotgun with light extraction and we'll do glass buildables Better glass. And my steel buildables, which is a entirely new class of building pieces made out of steel. So now that we have the mods all downloaded, we can go ahead and close that. And you'll see they are all listed here in the extracted mods. So once they're added to Icarus Mod Manager, they will show up here. These mods are not added to the game. They are all in your installation of Icarus Mod Manager. You can add one of them, two of them, all of them, and Icarus Mod Manager will merge them together. So if you wanted to add some of these to your game, you would just select them and double click them, and you'll see them show up here. So if you want better glass, Clear photo lens, increase stacks, increase slots. Um, add those. And still buildables and glass buildables. You see this mod, this week's changes. This cannot be added to this. Because this is only for people that develop mods. If you want to see what all the changes were to the files, this will have that in there. If you have that enabled. So once you have all the mods added to the list, you see when I click on these, these files show up. So this is all the files that this mod contains. If you click on that, those are all the files inside this. Uh, originally did that because some mods edited the same files and would cause issues, or some mods had the same blueprint. You asset files that would cause issues. Uh, you don't really have to worry about that anymore. It's basically just there for information. So if you have a mod that's not working and you click on it and there's no files here, that means there was a problem with it extracting. And then it shows the image of it and then gives the information. So now that we have the list of all the mods we want to install, you would just click install all listed mods. And you'll see it will merge them all together. And then it will start inserting that merge back into the original JSON files of the game. Once that is complete, you will get a black screen that pops up like that. That will tell you how many files are in the merge. And then it will add that pack file to your game's mods folder. That's basically what that black uh, form is that pops up. It's Unreal Pack merging all your uh, merged mods into a pack file and add it to the game. And you will see that we have that here. And if you click on Open Icarus Mods folder, click on this list, it will be the exact same list that we just added to the game. So if you ever want to know what mods are currently added to your game, you can just open that up and click that file and it will tell you. Once you have them merged, you would just click launch game and it would launch the game with those mods installed. So I recommend that once you get a list of mods that you use consistently, you're going to want to save that list. So you can just go anywhere in here and right click with your mouse and click save list. 
and we'll pop this up and then just name it say main mods so anytime clear this list you load this up and you want to play your main mods you'll just click load list and it will pop this up main mods click that open and it will have those listed this also helps if uh you play with people online and depending on what group you're in they play with certain mods you can actually name it that group so you could have you load this list and it could have several mod lists that are set up for certain servers because you have to keep in mind that whatever mods you have added to your game also have to be added to the server and the next time you run this let me go ahead and close this there's the user control click yes and it will open it up and you'll see it already added that list to it whatever your last merge list was it'll automatically add that anything so every week Icarus devs update the game so now I'm gonna go over what you need to do each week when the game updates the first thing you're gonna want to do is close keep your Icarus mod manager closed you don't want that open when the game updates you'll go into your steam download the latest update for the game once your game is completely updated you can close steam and then open up Icarus mod manager and it will open the Icarus mod manager and it will automatically update the data folder. You'll see it pop up a little black screen saying it's updating your data folder. Once that is complete, all you need to do is click install all listed mods. If this is your same list or if there's another list you use, you would just click load list, click that list, click open and click install all listed mods. Once that is merged, you can go ahead and play the game. That is all you have to do each week. Just make sure this is closed, update the game through Steam, run the Icarus Mod Manager, it will automatically notify you that there's an update and it will update the database. Once that's done, you just re-add that list to the game and then you can launch the game and you're done. And with that, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, there will be a part two to this, which will go through all the changes I've made when you right click these and select edit mod and the latest version. Um, like I said, there will be a link in the description below for, to my GitHub for you to download the mod manager and we will see you in the next one.